Are you divorced because of a terrible mistake that you made in the past and you're not sure how to move forward and find love again? If you find yourself single and worried about your past, we've got you. Stick around for this discussion about how to move on in ways that serve you and your future relationship. First, take a quick moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can enjoy our weekly videos and shorts. This video is sponsored by Canyon Foot and Ankle. From simple nail care to advanced trauma and reconstructive care, their podiatrists have the training and skills needed to resolve even the most complex cases. Treat your feet to the exceptional care they deserve. Recovering from mistakes in a previous marriage can be an awkward and overwhelming journey, especially for those who want a clean start and they want to be honest with their future partner about their past. Kathy, why is it important to reveal past mistakes to a dating partner? I mean, if it's over and done with, would you want to know if your dating partner had been unfaithful to a prior spouse? I would. Would you? I think I would. On the flip side, would you, if you had made the mistake, want to go into a marriage knowing that you withheld important information and always, always wonder if your spouse would have accepted the truth had they known? I know that for me, it's vital when I make important life altering decisions to have all the information necessary for making that decision. Now, when a dating partner withholds important information about their experience in attempt to win a guy or girl, if that relationship leads to a marriage and a life together, and it's highly disrespectful of the person you claim to love to lie by omitting important parts of your life journey. Yeah, Kathy, I think that's really an important point. There's also the consideration of being caught. Now, what if you don't tell your future spouse about a past affair or something like that, and they find out some other way, which can happen. What is that gonna do to your relationship? I imagine that would create a deficit of trust that might never be overcome. Not to mention, you might live on pins and needles all the time, being worried that they're gonna find out. Right. Now, is it possible to be accepted by a future companion if you share unflattering things about yourself? Should it be an automatic red flag if someone's been unfaithful? There are some serious considerations. Are they a serial cheater or was it a one-time thing? Are they remorseful? Are they willing to be transparent? Why do people have affairs? You know, I dated a few people that had come out of that situation on both sides of it. And sometimes I think really good people do bad things when they're in enough pain. And when we're in enough pain, we'll do almost anything for a little relief. And we're not suggesting that that's an excuse. What we're saying is that we're human. And right. as part of the human condition, we're all subject to doing stupid, unhelpful things. Right, if you're dating someone who's in that situation, you kind of have to evaluate, was this kind of a one-time response, unhealthy response, to a lot of emotional pain that you were in? Or was it really that you or they were just being a playboy or a playgirl? And in that case, it would be a, a deficit of character and a more serious matter. I want you to all remember the admonition in the Bible, to judge not that ye be not judged, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. How many of us would like to be judged for things we did during the worst moments of our lives? Now, make no mistake, I'm not saying that you should simply turn a blind eye when someone has repeatedly shown deficits of character, but that's something different from someone who made a serious mistake and seriously regrets it and has made serious efforts to change and get beyond it. Real Love is a concept taught by Greg Bear, who we've interviewed here on LilyTube, and you can check out that video, Real Love with Greg Bear, with the link in the show notes. Real Love requires that we show up authentically and allow people to choose in or out according to who we really are. It's respectful to allow people choices based on the whole truth, even when our past includes a serious mistake. We create connection by being vulnerable. If we are hiding things from our partner, we're making ourselves hard to know and difficult to connect with. If you don't tell your partner the truth, you are hiding who you are, and you don't give them the chance to love and accept you freely, even knowing your past mistake. You can never truly feel loved if you know your partner is in love with the mask you are wearing 
instead of your real self. You don't know deep down whether they could have accepted you had they known the truth. Always love and give yourself compassion for mistakes and find wise people who will do the same. Are you divorced and wondering how to recover from past mistakes? And show up better and more authentically in a future relationship? Schedule a free consult at loveinlateryears.com and as coaches, we will help you create a customized roadmap to your desired destination. Are you committed to being honest about yourself and giving respect to yourself and your partner to be truly chosen for all that you are? Share in the comments if you're committed to honesty and courageous connection. And remember that any time is a great time for more love in your life. Thank you for watching LilyTube. Thanks for joining us for another week on LilyTube. If you enjoy what you see, support us by liking, commenting, and sharing your favorite videos with others who could benefit. As single life and relationship coaches, our mission is to help single adults intentionally heal from loss to create a happy life and healthy relationships. Keep coming back and we'll keep you encouraged. Each week, we provide new and refreshing perspectives on the challenges and opportunities of mid-single life. If you'd like to immerse yourself deeper into your own personal development and relationship journey, visit our website at loveinlateryears.com for even more resources. Don't take on divorce recovery and other relationship loss and single life alone. We are here for you.